it's story time, I figured we should just set the mood. So I got my little candle and we should definitely, uh-oh, light it up. It's not lighting though. I can't do it this much. Ah, got it. That looks safe. Let's get another candle. <laughs> this is actually one of my favorite candles. Oh, it smells so good. So we're just gonna set the mood and um, get started. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing the story time of how I almost missed the opportunity to dress Marseille Martin for the cover of Essence. I know, it's crazy. But um, before I get into story time, I wanted to bring attention to my shirt. It's the Black Lives Will Thrive t-shirt and it's a full collection available on my website. I collaborated with the graphic design company Nomad Creative. They helped me create this graphic and all profits from this collection, any sales is brought from this collection will be donated to the Anti-Racism Fund. And this graphic was inspired. It basically, I wanted to give a reminder to the black community that we are such a strong people, we will overcome and we will thrive. And this is just a visual reminder of that. Each line says rise, thrive and thriving. We will, things will get better and just keep hope alive. Now, back to story time. So there I was, just going about my day. I get an email from a stylist saying, hey, we're working on this cover for Marseille Martin. Um, would you be interested? Um, if so, could we pull some of your pieces? And I was just like, <laughs> yes. Okay, of course, of course. I yes, absolutely. I always wanted to work with her, and it's interesting because I always had the uh, blackish logo on my vision board. So I was like, look at God. Yo, shout out to God. Yo, he be listening. So I was like, absolutely. So I immediately replied to the email like, yes, I would love to work with her. Um, can you send me the mood board um, so I can send you whatever items I have that fits what you guys, you know, the vision. So I sent the email. I didn't hear it back. So I was like, huh, that's odd. So I go to bed. Sleep, 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 sleep. Wake up. As soon as I wake up, I eagerly check my phone. I'm like, did I get a message from them? I didn't have anything. I was like, huh, that's strange. I'm going about my day, answering emails and whatever I was doing at the time. And I get another email from the stylist and she was like, hey, just following up to see if you guys would be interested. We'd love to have you be a part of this opportunity. And I'm like, huh. But I was like, okay. I emailed her back and I was like, hey, definitely interested. I asked for a mood board. Would you mind sending it to me so I could, so I could submit whatever styles I have that'd be great for your shoot? And then I was like, you know what? I didn't hear back right away, which I thought was odd. So I looked to see if she had a number listed on her signature. Thank God she did. And I called her and I was like, hey, this is Christian from Christian Loren. I got your email, but I don't think you're getting mine. And I was like, I sent you an email yesterday immediately after you sent the request over. And then I sent you one this morning. Did you get any of those two emails? She was like, in a professional way, like, no, I didn't get anything. And I was like, huh, that's strange. And I was like, well, is there another email I can send you the actual styles too so like pictures of the things i have so you can consider them she was like well she just text me text them to me because i don't know what's going on in her email and i don't want to i don't want to delay this even any further and i was like bet so i had my little phone and i was texting her pictures of everything that you thought would be great based on the mood board that she had texted me so then she basically hearted all the items that she wanted me to drop off so i was like bet and she told me she needed them between that day and thursday so that was on that was, uh, yeah, so that was Wednesday, yeah. So I was like, I'll just drop them off to you today, which is Wednesday. And as I was packing up the garment bags, I realized I was missing one of the items she requested, which was the blue long sleeve suspension top. I'll link it right here. So I get to the studio, I dropped off all the garments bag and I say, hey, here's everything you requested based off the pictures I sent you guys. The only thing missing is the long sleeve blue suspension top, which I'll link right here. They would say, cool, no problem. Um, if we decide to use anything or, you know, yeah. They said basically, if we decide to use anything, I will let you know and just keep you posted. And I was like, cool, bet. So I go home, go to sleep. And Thursday comes and 
I'm going about my day, minding my business, you know, because that's what I do. And I get an email, like another alert. And I check my phone and it's like, hey, Chris. no, actually it was a text. She texted me. She's like, hey, Chris, is there, is it possible or any way that you may have an extra duplicate of that long sleeve suspension top in navy? And I was just like, actually, that's the only one. If I do have it in black, will that work? And she was saying, well, Essence was really having a heart set on that top specifically in addition to what we requested. And they wanted to know if it was possible if you had a duplicate. Time's out. I was like, of course, of course, of course, of course. The one thing, the one item, the one that I don't have, that's the one they want. And I was just like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? So I was stressed. Right, because I was like, this is for the cover of Essence magazine. This is for Mercedes right. Martin, and of course, the one thing I don't have—that's the one thing. That's the one thing they want. So I was like, you know what? It's cool because that's how these things go. So I called her up, and I was like, hey, she's like, I'm not guaranteed that they'll use it and they'll make the cover shot, but if they're specifically asking for it, it's a high chance that it will be used and it could be on the cover i said of course i know i was like of course since i don't have it that's what they asked for so we both were laughing and i was like look let me tell you this i was like let me ask you this i know you had mentioned originally that you need the samples yesterday and today and you mentioned the shoot was in la what's the latest i can get you this top because at this point it's like 11 a.m on a thursday morning she was saying to me that i need this top by the end, like the latest at the end of the day, like six o'clock or something. But they would need it either in their hands tonight, or I would have the, have the option of mailing it to LA, but I would have to cover shipping. And I was just like, huh, okay. And I was like, you know what? I think I may have time to whip up a top real quick. I was like, can I just, can you just touch base with me around four o'clock today so I can let you know if I have any progress? And she was like, yeah, let me know. Don't, you know, if you could do it, that's awesome. But if you can't, we understand. And I was like, no worries. Thank you for the opportunity. It's like, cool, no problem. Hung up the phone, hung up the phone. As soon as I hung up the phone, I called Charles. I was like, Charles, who is my business partner? And I told him the situation. I said, look, cover S's. Arce Martin. S's asking for the long sleeve suspension top in navy blue. We have only the gabardine here in the office. We need to get the mesh, need to get the kissing, separating zipper, and we need to get the ribbon trim that goes on the shirt. I was saying to him, I said, typically it takes 45 minutes to get there and then 45 minutes to get back to the garment district from where the studio is. And then I need about three to four hours, like ideally four to five hours to make this top, but your pressure for time i was like i don't would you he was like listen i'll go to give me the list of whatever we got to get i'll go there and you start here prepping for cutting the patterns out and whatever i was like you gonna do it he was like yeah i'll do it i was like you employee of the month you are the person of the year you are the best friend best everything business partner ever you are the mvp so <laughs> thank god for charles he i made him a list took pictures of everything and i was like here's the stores here's the addresses go get the stuff thanks so much and he went so while he's gone i'm out here ironing patterns i'm cutting out the gabardine the gabardine is used for the part that covers the, the breast and then just setting up the sewing machine and everything he gets back by like by like one o'clock so one to like four o'clock i'm sewing the stylist checks back in at four o'clock like hey how you making out i told essence that you may be able to whip up a top real quick and i was like you know what i think i could pull it off um i'm gonna try to get to you guys by six o'clock to drop off the top she was like bet thank you so much and i was like no thank you thank you so i don't know if you guys ever sewn before but whatever time you think is going to take you to make something it always takes longer like always takes longer no matter what and then of course when you're rushing or when you have a timeline or a deadline something always go wrong with your machine without a like without a doubt something always goes wrong <sighs> like the thread got tangled so that delayed me and took me typically longer to sew the top i'm tip i would say i'm a pretty fast and efficient sewer but um i didn't get finished until about 5 30 which is 30 minutes longer than what i wanted to be doing so i was like shoot I 
I'm probably not gonna get to their studio until probably like five, like 6.30, just you know, it's rush hour in New York City. And um, you know the MTA always have delays. Like, I don't get it. Always have delays, so I was like, shoot. All right, whatever, 5.30 come, I pack up the little goodie bag with the little shirt, and I rush for the um, MTA subway and um, just book it to, to Manhattan. And um, just for the record, this was not my best sewing work. It wasn't horrible, but I was not my best, but I was like, I've done came this far, I can't stop now. And I gave them my word. And it's like, if it's 85% to 90% good enough, I'm gonna submit it, right? So that's just my mentality. Um, so I'm on the subway, just riding from Brooklyn to Manhattan. It seems like one of the longest rides of my life. And um, let me tell you, God was there. God was with me because I feel like that subway ride was at least 40 minutes. No delays. People got on a train and act like they knew what they was doing. Because, you know, people be like, I don't know what train is this. Oh, is this going to Manhattan or is this going to Brooklyn? I'm so lost. I'm like, get off the train. None of that happened. <laughs> people were efficiently getting on and getting off the train. So I was like, yo, God was like driving the train himself. So shout out to God. I got to like Manhattan around, like Midtown Manhattan around like 6, 10, no later than 6.15 for sure. I got there pretty, pretty fast. And then was the obstacle of maneuvering through the people in the street because everybody in New York don't walk efficiently either. Some people are just slow. I would say I'm a pretty fast and aggressive walker when I have something to do or somewhere to go. So, you know, your girl was bobbing and weaving through the crowd with her little goodie bag of goods for the Essence magazine cover. It was like, coming in hot, coming in hot, gotta get this there. Um, so I was booking it. Fashion literally is my cardio that day. And um, I get there, I'm out of breath. I'm like, and I'm asthmatic, but I was like, you know what, that's not fashion either right now. Girl, catch your breath. So I composed myself rung the bell got buzzed up whatever and i was like hey i'm here to drop off this for the shoot for essence and blah blah blah, blah. and it's like oh thanks so much here i'll take it and i was like i made it in sunday's like yeah we got to leave in like maybe within the next hour and i was like oh my goodness i didn't do that but i was like okay great thank you so much she said we'll let you know if um if we end up using the pieces and i was like okay cool thanks so much don't you know just keep me posted thanks so much and it's like yeah no problem so I walk out of the studio, I walk out the building, and then I'll get to the end of the block. And I'm like, thank you, God. This is, thank you so much for making this happen. And I just said a prayer and was just thinking, and I was like, I'm so glad that I was able to pull it off. So I said my prayer and made my way back to Brooklyn. And um, I told Charles the update since he was like my right hand man for <laughs> getting everything done that day. So between those that from september to november you know you just sitting around whistling like, and twiddling your thumbs like just hoping hoping that they use your pieces and if they do use your pieces that your the pieces that they use the images they shot of it get selected in the final edit and makes the actual layout of the editorial like you just pray like god please please pick up the pick my designs lord god please let me make the cover dog like look out for your girl me and god got a special relationship that's how we talk to each other but that's between me and him and um but you just you just hope because that's something you don't have control of the first battle is being on a stylish radar second one is having them select your pieces for the actual shoot and then third is once it, the actual images go to the editorial team of the magazine, that they pick whatever image that your clothes are in for the final editorial layout. Because everything they shoot doesn't make the magazine because they could shoot like 25 looks, but it's a six page spread. You can't fit all 25 looks in a six page spread. You know, typically it's a full bleed, meaning a full size of paper, uh, paper and it's usually one image per page. So it's impossible to get 25 images in there so you just be like who I hope I hope I make it 
So the good news about this team, they're very on top of their stuff. They like the best in every way. <laughs> like they're great, they're kind, they're nice, they're on, they know they fashion and they, they stylist and they, um, they just good people, right? So um, they was texting me updates like, hey, we use one of your looks, blah, 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 blah. You know, that's a good sign, da, da, da. And I'm like, oh, thank you so much for telling me. And you know, so between September and November, I'm just waiting like, are we gonna be on the cover? Are we gonna make the issue? Are we gonna be on the cover? And then voila, we made the shoot. They picked the Janela blazer and aqua and the West Indies high waist pants and aqua. So after all that, they didn't even use the top, which is fine. But they used two of additional of my pieces that I sent over and Marce and wore it and she looks incredible and I got to work with SS Magazine and it's just dope, okay? So that completes my story time and I'm glad that um, everything worked out. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe and thank you for watching.